Hey y'all, welcome to my channel today. I am just doing a little update on things and uh, I have some news to share today so figured I'd do a little update for y'all and I hadn't done any videos in a little bit. I've just kind of been like depressed or something and it's kind of hard to feel like talking much when I'm that way. But um, anyway, uh, I guess I'll start with today and that'll kind of lead into the update. But so I haven't talked about this at all because it's been really kind of a shameful thing for me to deal with, but I think I'm ready for it now. Um, I do struggle with addiction. I take uh, DXM, which is cough syrup or meds or whatever you call it. It's the Robitussin and stuff. And uh, I, I do take too much of that when I do it. And it gives you a feeling kind of like you're drunk, you know. And uh, But I've been struggling with that for a while. And I'm doing a lot better than I was, but I still you know, do it, and that's not good because my blood pressure goes really bad high. Like, we're talking the other night, it was 178 over 120 bad. <laughs> so, uh, and then it'll get in the 160s over 114 or some highest number. And so, uh, anyway, um, that's not really funny, but I just laugh nervous, you know, kind of deal. But uh, that really... If nothing else helps me to stay away from them longer, it's that. I have to, for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's my autistic traits or whatever, but I feel like I have to kind of prove shit to myself over and over again for some dumb reason until it clicks. And I think it's finally starting to click that, you know, no matter if people beg me to stop or, you know, anything it it just doesn't work until it's coming from me, and that's, you know, usually how it works. It's got to come from you. Um, and uh, I am the kind of person that has to see tangible things, and it has to, like, be right in my face. And sometimes I it takes a while even then, but, like, all the begging and pleading that anybody can do won't work because, you know, it just you, addicts are, you know, what the addict mindset is, you know, oh, well, we can justify, or we can, you know, oh, well, you know, it hadn't hurt me this time, you know, well, it'll be fine, I can try tomorrow or something, I can try to wait tomorrow instead, and I can, you know, just, I just reason stuff out, and it don't help none, because, you know, then, then I'm all feeling bad later for doing it, literally physically bad and emotionally bad for doing it, and it doesn't even do what I what it used to do anymore. So it's like, why are you doing it? Well, you know, addiction's stupid. It it's a dumb. I don't mean people that are addicts are dumb, but I mean addiction is very frustrating and it's annoying, and it's a hard thing to deal with. And I thought it would be harder for me to t talk about, but it's really not, I guess. But. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling because I didn't like script this or nothing. I just wanted to kind of do it off the cuff because it's kind of how I do things. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I said no to myself today is the basic point I'm saying. I said no today, and it's been two days. I struggled a little harder yesterday. No, I struggled a little harder today than I did yesterday. But for some reason, I was more convicted today than I was yesterday. I really wanted to, but I didn't. And uh, it's like being pulled in two directions. It's like tug of war. You're, you're being yanked in two places at one time. You know, you, you know better. You know you're aware of what you're, what you're doing. But it's like it's like so easy to just justify it, you know? Like, it, it's with anything. Food behaviors, uh, money. It don't have to be drugs or alcohol. It can be anything. You can have a hard time saying no to yourself about anything. And I just have to stretch that no muscle a lot, you know, and work it because it's like a muscle. You got to, you know, stretch it out and make it stronger so you can say no more often. And I don't have to have him tell me no. 
But I did ask him to gently not get them for me today. And, uh, you know, that is me saying no to myself by asking for help today because it's hard to ask for help. You know, you just want to shut down and not talk, you know, and just suffer in silence. But it don't do you any good. You know, the, the N.A. folks always say bring your stuff to the light because if you don't, it makes it harder for you to fight. And you what's brought to the light will will be dealt with and you can't really deal with your addiction if you hide it all the time and it's a shameful thing it's very hard not to hide and that's the only, that's why it's taking me this long to even say anything online because it's it's really hard and uh i'm not very anonymous right now my face is right here so you can't hide behind your screen name now you know when you do this and so you got to really you can i guess if you make something up but I'm trying to be as authentic as I can be right now and be myself, you know. And uh but it makes it hard when you when you want to justify things and you know better and then it convicts you and then if you're spiritual, you know, God'll convict you or not or you know, you just struggle with things that you just you, know, you just want to just justify it away. Oh, well, I ain't been hurt this time, you know. This these long, so I'm good. Six years in, I'm fine. You know, I can stop any time. You know how that how that is. I mean, people, y'all, y'all have either y'all. I'm sure everyone knows at least one person that struggles with this, or has known it. And it it it's you can't really know what it's like, I guess, until you really struggle with it. But you you kind of know what I'm saying. It, it's it makes it difficult. <clears throat> but I am very proud of myself. <clears throat> today it was really hard for me to accept the credit because I just kind of wanted to, like, deny myself. Like, oh, well, hell, that's only two days. It's not a big deal. But it really is because I have, you know, in the past, I've, you know, been do I was doing it daily, and then I would be able to skip a few days. And then, like, I have good weeks and bad weeks, and like any illness you got, and then... When I'm depressed, it makes it even harder. And I justify wanting to watch my shows under the influence. Or I want to, oh, I can do laundry. Oh, it, it don't, you know, I can still do that. And so it makes it easy to just ignore it and do it while you're under, you know. And what's the point? <laughs> you know, so just just know that it's a very spiritual warfare in my head right now. And, uh. You know, but I I don't want an aneurysm. I don't want a stroke. I don't want, you know, I've already got diabetes and hypertension as it is. I'm already taking meds. I don't, and it makes, the, the dextromethorphan makes it, makes me very sensitive to insulin. And so it always kind of pulls my sugar too far down. And uh, then it knocks my appetite out even more than the Manjaro I'm on right now. And so I don't eat good, and it, it just jacks my stomach all up. But for some reason, I still do the crap. So explain that. <laughs> Make sense out of that crap. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. It's just weird. But my other update is that um, other than that, I've really kind of been, uh, you know, I, I have depression and anxiety, and I've been just trying to, you know, do things to take care of myself, like shower more or go out more and sit on the patio and, you know, have a drink or something. Not a drink drink, but, like, just have something to drink and chill and listen to music or something, you know. Try to get my mind in a different place. And um, my hygiene, you know how when you're depressed, you just your hygiene is kind of slips sometimes. And I've been really trying to work on the hygiene thing and the sleep thing. My sleep is jacked up, well, because the DXM keeps me up, but when even when I'm not on it, I, I haven't really been sleeping good for years, you know, since college. It's been crazy, but uh, I can take night meds, and I'll still, like, only get, like, <laughs> doggy, only get, like, four or five hours, and then I'm wide awake, <laughs> so it's kind of... My brain is used to being go, 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 go in the past six years of dealing with this crap. And I'm not, it's harder for me to mentally relax and just be.
I've always just, re you know, in the past few years, I've always liked feeling up, not, down, you know, relaxed when I'm doing the stuff, you know. So um, my brain is kind of used to just going all the time, and it's hard for me to just mentally be, like, still. <laughs> and so, um, but I'm I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I really am. I'm giving it the good old shot to see if I can do this thing, you know. And, uh, but, you know, my, at least my depression is kind of lifting hopefully a bit more and I can get some motivation. I do want, on a positive note, I do have some, another neat idea for my channel coming up. I do want to um, introduce you guys to some more of my music. Um, that's something that'll keep me from doing it, too, is uh, I really don't I don't play well when I'm under so I I don't want to mess that up and I have really um noticed in the past few years that I'm still really you know I still really know my piano and my knowledge but uh it started kind of affecting my uh fine motor skills and I have not played my actual scales or exercises or warm up stuff I just kind of like got lazy and just kind of played what I wanted to and not practiced. And so um, that really kind of bothered me a lot. And so it's kind of been helping me to, uh, if I want to play, I don't do it, you know, really as much anymore because I want to like be on the good side of the thing. I want to play good, you know, and, uh, and um, so, and that stuff kind of muddles your brain up. You can't really think good. <laughs> so, uh, I want to do some composing and I can really, I'm not, I don't like bragging about myself at all, but you know, I'm just, I want to try one thing on here that I usually do when I'm playing. I just, uh, you know, give me a key and a time signature and I'll, I can play anything in that key and time signature off the top of my head, you know, just make something up and it really sounds like a, like I've been doing it for playing playing that particular song for huh, a long time, and I don't know really. God's the only thing I can think of that that giving me that. And uh, otherwise, I mean, you just I try to give the credit to him instead of myself a lot, and not and kind of be humble about stuff. And um, but I do want to, you know, what I'm gonna do on one of these is I'm gonna get get to. Uh, Sean to give me a key signature and a time signature, and I'm going to just play something and uh, get some feedback from you guys. And uh, basically what I want is to know, you know, if the song sounds really good or would you change anything or what kind of words do you feel like? What does this feel like to you? You know, what, what, what kind of vibe do you get? Or, you know, just different things and try to get – my mind off of things and onto other good stuff and and vlog. I don't want to vlog if I'm doing that, you know. I mean, I I want to. I don't want to show my, you know, drugged up face. And I mean, what kind of pl you know decent video is that? <laughs> so, <laughs> vlogging, music, um, having friends over. I really don't like doing that when I've got my friends over. I have and it. It's not very pleasant for me or them. I mean, they don't say anything. They always support me, but I just, I don't visit very much. I just kind of sit here. And what fun is that? You know, what fairness is that to people? So <laughs> I just try to keep it down when I'm doing it and just hole up. And I don't want to do that so much anymore. I'm kind of ready to kind of get out there and do stuff. So I'm trying. <clears throat> uh, But yeah, that's pretty much it for that I can think of right now. I'm going to probably do a couple of more recordings and um, upload them here shortly. So please do stay tuned, like and subscribe and hit that bell and listen to my next videos if you feel like it. And hopefully um, we'll get some more positive ones. I, I know this was kind of a heavy subject and I should have probably put a trigger warning. Uh, maybe I ought to on the uh, title, but, uh, so, cause this could trigger people, 
and I didn't think of that, but I'll put it on the title. Anyway, I really appreciate y'all if y'all stuck through this whole thing. If not, I get it. It's kind of a heavy thing, so, uh, and I'm going to try to be vlogging a bunch more, and we'll hopefully not have so much time between videos, and maybe I'll get some, some feedback and everything. Well, alrighty, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in today, and we will see y'all next time.